Welcome to the second video in our short series to help you get started with the ST-Eval FCU001V1 ST Microelectronics Flight Control Unit Evaluation Board for Toy Drones. In this video, we will cover the software application for Android. When you connect the battery, the drone will be detectable by any smartphone or tablet via Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE. After launching the app, if you press the Search Drone button, you will find the list of drones available through BLE. Then, by simply selecting one, you will be connected to it. By clicking on the Setting button in the app, you will be able to change several features like, for example, the shape of the cursor from a circle to a square. You may always switch back to the circle one, whichever you prefer. In this basic configuration, the circles are fixed, but you can also choose the option of Followers Cursors, so the first point that will be touched on the tablet or smartphone screen will become the center. We can come back and disable this function, and then the circle will return to a fixed position. Let's check out another function called Yaw Disable. This function is recommended for beginners who may have some difficulties with the yaw control. You can also swap the joystick channel assignment, for example with the throttle on the right joystick instead of on the left. Ok, and now we can come back to the default one. For quick debug, we can decide to visualize the raw data of the sensors used in the FCU on the app, or alternatively, we can log this data on a file that may be sent later by mail or shared with other applications in order to make a detailed analysis offline. Let's come back to the normal operation with the app. Once the drone is connected, you may calibrate the sensors by doing a long press down on the button shown on the left, and then you will see the LED one turned on, which means it stops blinking. Now you can arm the motors and you will see the LED 2 turn on. Then increasing the throttle you can fly the drone. The motors can be disarmed and disabled at any time and this will make the LED 2 start blinking again. In the safe condition you can remove the battery. All the app functions can be seen by clicking on the help button and you can read a detailed description of all the functions as described before. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you have fun building and flying your drone. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter.